Another collision, another tape show, and another AE Dynamite product. Not worth watching. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Here to look at the spoilers for AEW Collision, September 14th, 2024 edition. Shout out to No DQ. We're on their page. They've posted the results. So thank you to them. Shout out. Don't say we don't give credit on this channel. We're putting over No DQ, brother. Anyway, um, point before we go into the actual spoilers here. I think Collision, the fact this is like the second main show for AEW, right? This is our second show. This show, there's just no consistency, man. You just do not feel like this is a real show. How many times is Collision live? How many times is Collision taped? How many times is Collision being cancelled or postponed? You know, it's hard to follow this show. It's not like it's consecutively on every week. We, like, I know back in the day, like, Smackdown was taped or whatever, but it was always, like, consistently taped. With Collision, it's just weird. You know, one week you'll get a show and it's live. The next week it'll be taped. The next week it'll be cancelled for some strange reason. And then you might get a couple more taped shows followed by one live and then another cancelled. It's like... You know, well, why why is it so up and down? Why is it so messy? I, I don't understand it, man. Why can't they just have one show? <laughs> why don't, if you want to just tape it, then tape it. Or if you want it to be a live show, be a live show. Or if you don't want to have a show on a Saturday night, don't have a show on a Saturday night. But why is it always live tape cancelled? Live tape cancelled. It's almost like Tony Khan just gets like a three-sided coin. And I don't even know if they exist, but let's pretend that they do. It's almost like he just wakes up. The, on a Monday morning and go, right, what will we do with Collision this week? And just flips it to see what he's going to get, you know. It's, it's strange. I don't understand it. But anyway, Collision this week is taped. Uh, AEW taped matches for Saturday, September 24, uh, September 14, 2024. AEW Collision on Thursday nights from the Newton Centre in Dayton. Um, Dayton, right, okay. Here are the spoilers results courtesy of Blair Durrell and PWInsider.com. Damn it, so I need to give it more credit. Credit to these two here. There you go, boom. No, I don't care about a PDF file. I don't want to download it or whatever. So, uh, opening match, we have AEW TNT champion Jack Perry pinning Christopher Daniels. I thought Daniels was, like, retired. I thought he had this authority figure role. Why is he still wrestling? Who knows? This AEW TNT champion run for Jack Perry, it's, it's very weak. Yeah, he's defending the belt often, but he's defending against nobodies. Who cares? And I can't believe this guy was the first challenger for Brian Danielson's title. I mean, how are we supposed to care about Danielson's title? How is it supposed to feel important when his first challenger is Jack Perry and his next challenger might be that other guy, Nigel McGuinness? I mean, just two fucking bums. All right, then we've got Ring of Honor champion Mark Briscoe and Hologram defeating... Uh, wait, Mark Briscoe, Hologram and Kyle O'Reilly defeating the, the premier athletes. Um, I mean... The, how can they be the premier athletes when they lose every match? That doesn't make much sense to me. Wheeler Utah then defeated Anthony Henry. I think that's the fat guy for one of those tag teams. Uh, Private Party. Private Party and Commander won a six-man tag bout. I mean, it doesn't even tell you. I mean, it doesn't even tell you who they were against. So, I mean, I'm assuming free jobbers, which is all you get, really, on AEW Collision, to be honest. So, hardly surprising. Uh, Juice Robinson. And the Guns defeated the Gates of Agony in Brian Cage. Congratulations. Uh, Yuka Sakasaki defeated Serena Deeb. Yuka Sakasaki. Oh, Yuka Sakasaki defeated Serena Deeb. So, um, aye, Serena Deeb now losing to Yuka Sakasaki. Good for her. I mean, I don't know who it is, but good for her either way. Um, Queen Amanata defeated Robin Renegade. I mean, we really are getting into the top quality matches here. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a collision... Without an FTR tag team main event, of course not. FTR in the main event defeated the grizzled young veterans. They attacked FTR after the match, but the Outrunners made the save. Not sure who the Outrunners are. I think I've seen them like once and they're like bright and colourful, but a lot of people seem to enjoy the Outrunners for whatever reason. After the taping, we have Tony Khan. He brought out Chris Hero and Madison Rain. Mark Sterling came out. So FTR hit him with the shatter machine. Why did Chris Hero and Madison Rain come out? I'm not too sure. Isn't Madison Rain already signed with the company? Is Tony Khan trying to sign Chris Hero? Or are they like hometown wrestlers or something? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know why he brought them out, but uh, that seems to be the end of the show. Yeah, here we go. We've got you know Grizzled Young Veterans. What a shit tag team, by the way. And the um the FTR. I mean just. Why is that? How is that main event worthy? You know, it's just, well, I'll tell you how it's not. I mean, that's, that's a simple answer to that. It's not main event worthy. 
But, uh, you know, just just garbage, man. Just absolute garbage here for Tony Khan and Collision. It's just, would you want to watch this show, honestly? Now, when something's taped and you've got the spoilers, I think, now, I understand. Like, there's two ways to look at it. If, some, if it's a taped show, you might be thinking, yeah, it's taped. We're not going to get many viewers. Let's just do a throwaway show. Let's not put effort in, right? That's one way to think, and I can totally understand that. Another way to think is, right, this show is going to be taped. People are going to have the results beforehand. We need to make it an action-packed show so that people still want to tune in despite knowing the results. And I think that's probably the better way to look at it. Because if you already know the results, I think it needs to be a really good show for you to actually watch it anyway. And this is just not a really good show. Like, for example... Look at the SmackDown Before Survivor series. You've got the Alliance and you've got the WWE guys and, you know, everyone's coming out, hitting their finishers and it's fucking crazy, all right? Could you imagine if you're reading the spoilers for that online and you're like, holy crap, one guy comes out after another, they're all hitting their finishers, all ten guys are out there, you know, it's a, it's a fucking shit show. You've got Austin hitting stunners, there's choke slams for Taker, the Rock Bottoms for The Rock, you know, oh, McMahon, Shane's running around hitting people with chairs. It's chaos, ten bodies flying about. You'd be like, holy crap, I, I need to tune in and see that. I need, I need to see what's happening here. I need to see how SmackDown ends. That sounds great. But with this, it's like, it's FTR versus the Grizzles of Young. Who cares? I mean, who the fuck cares? Who cares, you know? It's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Anyway, guys, that's it for Fog Wrestling. Uh, I can't really drag this out any more than six minutes. I'm sorry, but there's not a lot to talk about. The results look shit, and that's pretty much it. Till next time, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and then, uh, yeah, don't download. Stop, fuck off with the PDF files, man. Seriously. That's it, guys. Till next time. Peace.